Hey, hey, you guys. Thanks for checking out Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis. Hey, guys. And we have Ashley Holiday in the studio with us. Hi. And we're going to talk all about your Nick at Night show. Oh, yeah. Hollywood oh, Heights. Hollywood Heights. <laughs> so it's, glamorous. It's really groundbreaking, though, for Nickelodeon and Nick at Night because it's like telenovela style. It so is. Right? So dramatic. So dramatic. Dun, dun, um, dun. I don't know if any of us <laughs> expected it to be as dramatic as it is, but it's so much fun. It is so much fun to um, take in like an ordinary everyday situation and just blow it out of proportion <laughs> completely. I've never done a soap before or yeah. like what's you know deemed a soap these mm -hmm, days. Mm -hmm. And it is a blast. It is a lot of fun. I love being overly dramatic. And it's transferred into my real life, which is, you know, my friend's love. Perfect. <laughs> just like taking long glances. Exactly. Just like yeah. looking at someone. Those, those last beats, those last like <laughs> soap opera beats that you always see, you're like, why are they still looking at the person with that look in their eyes? It's because they make you. <laughs> <laughs> they make you do that. They're like, okay, and you, they, just, we, they just wait and it's like a 20 seconds till they cut. You're just waiting there. You're just like, I'm just going to be in the I'm moment. I'm going to fume for 20 yes. more seconds. And sometimes you can't help but laugh. <laughs> And then you break. What would you say is the highlight of playing Mel or Melissa? Melissa, um, I would say it's it's how much fun she is. I, I I've always been pretty outgoing and 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 ostentatious, but this takes it to like you know the tenth degree. Melissa is so bold and fun and charismatic and does not care what people think about her and I, I don't have that in me like I just don't have that don't care what people think about me button so <laughs> I it's a good one to have it's a good one to have <laughs> it, 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 but it's so much fun being able to play the other side of that the person who just really loves life and really wants so much out of it and I've, I've actually really learned it sounds corny but I've learned a lot from from playing Melissa in enjoying life and not allowing myself to like Settle into the negative. Melissa's always on the positive. <laughs> always nice. on the positive tip. Now usually. another positive thing that we've already been discussing a bit off camera is how wildly attractive <laughs> the cast is. Um, I know we you can guys get are beautiful people. We get very distracted by that. But for people who don't know, who haven't tuned in, give us a general overview of the plot, what the show is all about. I would love to. Um, so it is about. It centers on um, Lauren Tate, who's played by Brittany Underwood, played beautifully by Brittany Underwood, who was on One Life to Live. Um, and uh, she is a high school student who is a very talented singer-songwriter who doesn't necessarily believe in her talent and that she can go you know, further with it and that's where I come in as her best friend and the supportive, pushy one who really uh, makes sure that she knows how talented and great she is. And through that, she ends up winning a singing-songwriting contest um, that is done by her, her idol, Eddie Duran, played by Cody Longo. And it just kind of takes off from there. So it's going from this high school world of family and friends and, you know, pop quizzes to <laughs> concerts and, you know, photo shoots and meeting your idol. And it's just, it, I, I think it's every girl's dream. When I was little, I wanted to meet Nick Carter. Okay. So have you met Nick Carter? I haven't, but I have met JTT, Jonathan <gasps> Oh my gosh. Who's my absolute everything when I'm I was so little. Jealous. I loved Rainy. Yeah, we're going back. On home with me. Yeah, we're going back. Um, <laughs> my mom did Wild America, that movie with him and, De and Devin Sawa. I had both of oh. them in one movie. Oh, and stop I was, it. We were in Savannah, Georgia for three months. It was my everything. Oh, you guys were best friends. Best friends. Oh. We loved each other. He didn't love me as much as I loved him. But, <laughs> but I'm now sure the love was there. Exactly. Now we just get to bow down to the greatness that is JTT, and I always will. Yes. Always. Totally. Without fail. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so it's, so it's, it's about Lauren Tate. Uh, uh, Realizing her dream and realizing that she is as good as as everybody around her knows she is she just has to believe in herself mm -hmm. And she it, it's such a great arc for that character it just it goes so many places and the story goes So many places because there's so many surrounding characters, you uh -huh. know within that it's not just about Lauren and Eddie It's about Eddie's girlfriend Chloe played by Melissa Ordway and and her ex played by Justin why is <laughs> Crazy last name and, um, <laughs> Tyler and um, and her mom and her relationships and me and my relationships and how I kind of fit into, you know, her becoming a superstar. Because it can be kind of hard when your best friend, you know, isn't exactly on the same path as you. So it's right. that conflict and that and that tension that kind of arises out of that too. And the the story the, the writers kept it very um, very real to what I think would happen mm -hmm. if you did evolve and kind of leave some people behind. And mm -hmm. not not meaning to, but you know. And there's a lot of drama in the love department as well drama. on the show. Um, we have so many relationships. We have, we've got, you know, Lauren and Eddie. We've got uh, Lauren and Cameron, who's somebody that she goes to school with. We've got Chloe and Eddie, Chloe and Tyler, Nora and Max, Nora and Dawn, Adrian and Phil, Lisa and Gus, me and Adam, my soon-to-be boyfriend. Um, it's just, it's, it's, 
it is a web. The literally in the production office, there is a board with everybody's relationships. Like that's a how you can web. keep track. I, that's how I had to keep track. <laughs> I had to go in there one day and be like, wait a minute. Okay, so who's dating who and who's cheating on who? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. exactly. Like, so he's cheating on her. Okay, I get it. Get it. Okay, so that happens there. Perfect. And it just it it's massively confusing. <laughs> well, and that's probably only multiplied because from what we hear on these style of shows, the shooting schedule is pretty wild. Mm -hmm. What is it, it is really like? Epic. It, I did not know what I was getting myself, myself into. Um, I always knew that soaps had a very rigorous schedule. Like you hear like people change things the day of and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, that sounds hard, but I can definitely do that. And probably a weekend, I called my mom and I was like, I'm on some kind of scary roller coaster that I can't get <laughs> off of. I've already started. There's no way I can quit. And of course, things got better and, and they eventually, you, you become accustomed to it. But you're working. We're shooting an episode a day, um, sometimes multiple episodes in a day. Like our last wow. week, we shot seven in five days. Wow. That's it was our la This was just this last week. It was a really intense last week of work. Um, but I feel like those kind of schedules and those kind of demands bring you a lot closer as a cast and as a crew, and we got so close. We are, we really became a family, mm -hmm. es especially the cast. We, all of us love each other. There's not one person that doesn't like another person, and I'm not just saying that, it's, it's the weirdest thing. And I kept hearing people say in the crew, like, you don't see this very often. You don't see people yeah. come together the way you guys did. I love to hear I love that. them. That's so I nice. love to hear that. I love that. them so much, especially Brittany. She's my girl. <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> so I'm sure it was kind of bittersweet to wrap up so last sweet. week. Uh, we but there's still lots of new episodes. There are, yeah, exactly. A lot and of we, stuff to see. We, we're going to be airing through October, so there's plenty of amazing. plenty of episodes to see, and a lot happens. It just gets crazier as as, as it goes on. The, the storylines that come in, and the different relationships and secrets that you find out about people. Um, can you give us like a little sneak peek? I can give you a sneak peek. So, so where are we right now? So Lauren's just getting it to start him. Okay, so Lauren, of course, you know, things are going to change for Lauren because she is, you know, going into this new world. Her mm -hmm. attitude might change a little bit oh, uh, towards things. Uh, of course, being her best friend, uh, I kind of get a little bit left behind. And I also have another thing, though, that I'm going through with my with my family Your right family, now. Like, it just started yeah. that storyline. So I'm starting to find out my mom is a sister that I didn't know about. And just things are starting to go in a certain direction. Um, I do get a love interest in Adam and Nick Crosby's character, who's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, Chloe gets her comeuppance, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Chloe and Tyler get their comeuppance big time. Um, and uh, it just goes directions. I was, I, I'll be reading the scripts or used to be reading the script oh. and um, I know it just makes me so sad and I'd just be like just sitting there like no no Chloe don't do it don't do it done no that's this horrible idea just going crazy because you just get so infected by these characters and by the stupid decisions they make and the awesome decisions they make yeah because you know Melissa always makes really awesome decisions but of course at all times yeah and can we talk about some of the guest stars on the show <sighs> yes amazing um, Franco I'm sorry Franco James Franco I that's you believe unbelievable. it was when I heard he Were was going to be on the show. Yeah, I was like, "You're kidding me! That's a, that's a joke. You guys are all playing a practical joke on us." But then he showed up. Um, I wasn't there the second day he shot. I only I wasn't even working the first day he shot. I just came to sex. I just Good got to for see you. Go. Yeah, exactly. I, I went to um, Playhouse West, which is like an acting school where and he that's used where to go. He went too. Yeah, exactly. And so mm -hmm. I had met him years ago and his his partner um, Vince, and they were both on the show. So I talked to Vince, and you know we kept caught up and stuff like that. I never actually got to meet Franco. Because he was shooting 20 episodes in two days. What? And so, yeah, he shot all of his episodes in a weekend. 20 episodes 20 in two days. episodes in two days. And he, the man walks onto a set. I heard this from all the actors. He walks onto a set. He looks at the page, not having memorized it, gets it down, knows your lines, knows his, his lines, and he knows he's ready to go. Rock That's star. unbelievable. He's a, rock star. he's a pro. I know. I wish I could do that. I started trying to do it. And then not like, not knowing my lines though, because I couldn't do that. But like, I tried to like look at them a couple times. And like, I, I got this. Next I season, got this. osmosis. Yeah, just exactly. Like, put it on your face. <laughs> then you get there and you're like, I don't know this. No. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. Who am I kidding right now? I need some time. I need a minute. Just give me two seconds and go back and look, review this, and I'll be back with you. So, are there any other guest stars coming up? The rest of the season, or is there anyone you would love to see on Hollywood Heights? What Brittany and I kept joking about, because I've Melissa talks a lot about Ryan Gosling and how she, you know, Ryan Gosling's gonna be at a birthday and how he's gonna be, you know, at this club and she's gonna see him and it's gonna happen. Yeah. And we kept saying, we're like, what if Ryan Gosling was on the show? 
Oh, <laughs> he's been in our building on, on several occasions. As he, I just yeah. want to let you know. So you can just camp out here. That's, I might. Don't take him to the set. Don't threaten me with a good time. Because I will do it. <laughs> we will. I will hang out here and do it. I met him once, and he was such a nice guy. And I was just, I kept hoping. He's, I, he's not on the show. <laughs> Dreams come true. He's not on the show. Unless they shot something that's a surprise, he's not on the show. You never know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would love in there. Hollywood Heights and Gosling. What else? What more could you ask for? Unstoppable. Exactly. More beautiful people. Franco, Gosling, Hollywood Heights. Brian Bam. Gosling's busy Done. like saving babies or something. Exactly. Probably. And dogs yeah. and being an amazing humanitarian. Stopping fights. Stuff like Whatever. That. <laughs> you don't have time to do Hollywood Heights. That's fine. <laughs> so any news on season two? Not yet. But I think all of us have very high hopes, especially the, the cast. We would love to work together again. And um, we created such a community and a sense of family when we were there for these four insane, awesome, crazy months that I think all of us are having a really hard time understanding that we're not necessarily going to be working together again. So we're all hoping for a season two, which is still, still, still a possibility. Yeah, totally. Still a well, possibility. there's so many episodes still yet to for come. viewers yeah, to exactly. watch and tune in and to request, to tweet <laughs> exactly. about. There are pl and I've, <laughs> we've gotten a lot of requests for a season two and people freaking out that there's not a season two because we, you know, would tweet like that we've wrapped and stuff like that. And people are like, oh my gosh, is the show over? It's not over, it's gonna run through October, but we're still waiting on the season two. And who knows, I mean, there's so many things that could happen in season two based on where we left off. Mm. That's all I'll say. There, it, there's doors a definite, are open. There's a lot of doors open and there's, you know, little, little cliffhangers, little cliffhangers here and there. Mm -hmm. Can't wait, can't wait. <laughs> well, thank you, Ashley, thank for you stopping so much. by. Thank you so much, thank you. Can't wait to see what happens on the show next. I know, neither can I. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting what's happening. Should we do like, the stairs? just like look at. Do you want to stare at each other for 20 seconds, guys? Yeah, let's do it. See if you can't break. Okay. I can't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> So hard. It's so hard. It's Italian. Honestly, you're like, cold cut. My oh, little cheeks are like, oh, Yeah, me too. My cheeks are to shake of a smile too long. That's the talent. That <laughs> Thank is you so much. hard for just this is what's gonna look into take Hollywood me places. Heights. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ashley Holiday, thank you again. Thank you so much for having me. And thanks to you guys for tuning in to Clever TV. Make sure you check out Ashley Holiday on Nick at Night's Hollywood Heights. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis, and we'll see you next time.